In the grand tapestry of human existence, woven through the ages with threads of triumph and despair, the notion of mind control has long captivated the imagination of mankind. It is a concept that has inspired both awe and trepidation, a power that has been sought after by the ambitious and feared by the meek. Yet, amidst the swirling mists of mystery and misconception, there lies a fundamental truth that has been championed by some of the most brilliant minds to ever grace this earthly realm. Napoleon Hill, Neville Goddard, and James Allen, three titans of personal transformation, have each contributed their own unique perspectives on the incredible potential that lies dormant within the human mind. They have spoken of the definite chief aim as a means of unleashing this potential, of harnessing the limitless power of focused thought and unwavering desire to shape the very fabric of reality itself. At the heart of this profound concept lies the belief that our thoughts are not merely idle musings, but potent forces capable of molding the world around us. It is a recognition that the mind is not simply a passive observer, but an active participant in the grand dance of creation. By directing our mental energy towards a specific goal or vision, we set in motion a cascade of events that can lead us inexorably towards its manifestation. Napoleon Hill, in his groundbreaking work, Think and Grow Rich, asserts that a definite chief aim is the bedrock upon which all success is built. He argues that by crystallizing our desires with perfect clarity and committing ourselves wholly to their attainment, we unleash a mighty force that can surmount any obstacle and overcome any challenge. This force, which Hill terms auto-suggestion, is the subtle art of impressing upon the subconscious mind the reality of our goals, aligning our every thought and action in service of their ultimate realization. Neville Goddard, a spiritual luminary and master of the esoteric, takes this idea to even greater heights. He suggests that our imagination is the very portal through which we access the infinite abundance of the universe. In his teachings, the act of vividly imagining our definite chief aim is not simply a mental exercise, but a sacred communion with the divine creative power that permeates all things. By immersing ourselves fully in the feeling of our desired outcome, we send forth a clarion call to the cosmos, signaling our readiness to receive its blessings and setting in motion the intricate machinery of manifestation. James Allen, whose timeless wisdom continues to inspire generations, reminds us that our thoughts are the very seeds from which the garden of our lives will grow. In his masterwork, as a man thinketh, as a man thinketh, he argues that by nurturing a mental landscape of positive, purposeful thoughts, we create the fertile soil in which the fruits of abundance, harmony, and fulfillment can flourish. A definite chief aim, in this light, becomes the guiding star that illuminates our path, keeping us ever focused on the highest aspirations of our soul. But the true power of a definite chief aim extends far beyond the realm of personal achievement alone. It is a golden key that unlocks the door to a higher state of consciousness, a way of being that is more enlightened, more evolved, and more connected to the greater web of life. By aligning our minds with a purpose that is noble and true, we tap into the collective wisdom of the ages, becoming co-creators of a world that is brighter, more beautiful, and more filled with love. We begin to see ourselves, not as isolated islands, adrift in a sea of chaos, but as integral threads in the grand tapestry of existence, each with a unique role to play in the unfolding of the cosmic plan. This is the essence of true mind control, not a manipulation of others, but a mastery of oneself. 
It is a recognition that the mind is the most powerful tool we possess, and that by harnessing its full potential, we can achieve feats that were once thought impossible. Whether it be the attainment of our wildest dreams, the healing of broken bonds, or the transformation of society itself, a definite chief aim becomes the compass that guides us ever towards our highest destiny. But... But the path to mastery is not for the faint of heart. The mind, for all its wondrous potential, can be a fickle and stubborn beast, prone to doubts and fears and limiting beliefs. It is all too easy to be led astray by the siren song of distraction, to lose sight of our true north in the face of adversity and challenge. But it is in these moments of darkness that the light of a definite chief aim shines brightest. By fixing our gaze upon the summit of our aspirations, by holding fast to the vision of our highest selves, we find the strength to persevere, to rise above the trials and tribulations that would seek to hold us back. We become like the mighty oak, with roots that run deep and strong, withstanding the tempests of life, with grace and resilience. And as we grow in strength and stature, we become a beacon of hope for others, inspiring them to reach for their own highest potential and join us in the great work of creating a world that is more just, more compassionate, and more beautiful than ever before, than ever before. In the final analysis, the power of a definite chief aim is not some arcane secret accessible only to the initiated few. It is a practical and proven method for achieving success and fulfillment in all areas of life. A reminder that we are the ultimate architects of our own destiny. By taking control of our minds and focusing them on the highest and best within us, we can create a life of purpose, passion, and boundless joy. So let us take up the mantle of our own greatness, and with a definite chief aim as our guide, embark upon the adventure of a lifetime. Let us dare to dream beyond the confines of what is known and comfortable, to imagine a world of limitless possibility and wonder, and let us have the courage to make manifest the grandest vision of ourselves, knowing that in doing so, we not only transform our own lives, but inspire others to do the same. For in the end, it is not the destination that matters most, but the journey of self-discovery and self-mastery that leads us there. And with a definite chief aim as our North Star, there is no height too lofty, no dream too grand, no vision too bold. We are limited only by the breadth of our imagination, and the depth of our resolve. As Napoleon Hill so eloquently put it, whatever the mind can conceive and believe, it can achieve. May we each have the audacity to conceive of a life that surpasses our wildest imaginings and the unwavering faith to believe in its inevitable manifestation. For when we do, we step into the fullness of our power becoming the heroes of our own stories and the architects of a brave new world. In this great tapestry of life, woven through the golden threads of human potential, let us each leave our mark, guided by the light of a definite chief aim. Let us be the dreamers and the doers, the visionaries and the pioneers, the ones who dare to imagine a world that is better than the one we inherited. And together, let us create a symphony of hope and possibility that will resound through the ages, inspiring generations yet unborn to reach for the stars and beyond. For, in the end, the true measure of our lives will not be the accolades we accumulate, or the possessions we acquire, but the impact we have on the world around us. And with a definite chief aim as our compass, 
We can each leave a legacy that will shine like a beacon through the mists of time, guiding others towards the fulfillment of their own highest potential and the creation of a world that is more beautiful, more just, and more filled with love than ever before.